Hello, I'm in Beddington Park and I was thinking about teaching a practice of how to panic mindfully. Um, I don't know what the practice will be yet, but I just think the concept is worth considering um, because let's face it, we are in a situation that is absolutely perfect and panicking is justified. The rug has been just pulled from under our feet for everyone. We don't have a long-term scenario. We are in the middle of a movie and we don't know how it ends. So there is that saying that in the situation which is completely abnormal, acting as normal is not normal. So what I'm saying is we need to acknowledge that we will panic. Panic is the response of life threat and this is how it feels at the moment. But what I'm saying is important to acknowledge that we're panicking because the feeling of panic as in fear is just a feeling and as every feeling it will pass. But if it's acknowledged, it will pass, it will be released. If it's not acknowledged, it will be stored away. So you will be um, perpetuating a swan effect, so, you know, very calm on the top and paddling like crazy underneath and producing some ulcers and some coronary um, attacks and, and whatnot. So I will uh, find a little practice for everyone to do to panic mindfully. But for now, let's just practice acknowledging the state of panic and then doing something about it. Just saying, oh, I'm panicking. Oh, I'm feeling scared. And then maybe take three breaths, call a friend, send whatever, send a message on the fire Facebook. I'm aware I'm panicking, breathing in, breathing out. That's just acknowledging what's going on without making it into anything bigger. So that's me for now.